It's a really good place. It's a joyful place. You play games and you guys do other fun stuff. There's squishies, there's toys, and there's a lot of things kids can play with to relieve stress. I like that you are afraid to speak your mind. I don't feel afraid to tell you anything, and I feel like safe in a environment. We exist to ensure that kids can grow up and move from this place of being a victim to being a survivor. I think people would be shocked to know the extent at which child abuse happens on a daily basis. Each year there are tens of thousands of reports of abuse that are made in Mecklenburg County. And it's not something that happens in small pockets of our community, it happens in every single neighborhood, in every town, every single day. When sexual abuse occurs, it can truly like rock a family. And so this is a big deal for them when they have to come here. It's a big day for their family. It's not something that they may necessarily be looking forward to. When kids arrive, they're like frightened and they're timid and they don't know what to expect. And the way that our staff engages them, it, it really allows them to share their deepest, darkest secret. We give them that opportunity here that they haven't had anywhere else, and we have someone that will listen to them and will believe them, and that changes everything for that child. And so from that first appointment to the time where they go to the medical exam and they learn that their bodies are gonna be okay, and then they meet their therapist and that person is gonna be there every step of the way to help them heal. And really, we send out far more hope into the world than we ever take in hurt. And so sometimes children and, and the families, when they do come, it may seem like it's hopeless. However, when we are able to provide support and, and love on them, we often see their heads held a little bit higher. We've even seen children skip back <laughs> to the waiting area just because they're no longer holding this secret, this burden all by themselves. I think that is an incredible demonstration of the healing that children experience here. It's been really helpful for me because, yes, you're going to cry sometimes, but that's good. And people think it's not good if you cry, but it is. I used to cry about a lot of stuff, but Pat's Place has helped me. I want other people to know that people are here no matter what. You're, you're like going through that you're not alone in all this and none of this is your fault. Trauma can be really confusing for children. They may not have the words to say, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling mad. And so they need some help with putting words to, to those feelings and those thoughts. And so at Pat's Place Individual Therapy is when a child meets one-on-one -on -one with a therapist and then that child's family also meets with the therapist. And group therapy is a group who are going through the therapeutic process together and get to utilize each other to heal each other. We serve child victims of trauma throughout Mecklenburg County. Whether that child's in Uptown Charlotte or in far-flung areas of Pineville or Davidson, they have a place that they can come to get that open healing. But the work of Pat's Place doesn't happen without the unique partnerships that we have. <laughs> it's the responsibility of people in my position in the criminal justice system to make sure we're doing everything that we can to protect children. And if we are able to hold someone responsible for inflicting trauma on a child, I consider that a win. But we would be wrong to say that that's the end of a story. Because there's nothing about a judge putting a gavel to their bench that actually heals a child. And that's what makes Pat's Place so critical. Atrium Health felt it was very important to have a partnership with a facility that was providing these services. And we are fortunate enough to be located on site at Pat's Place. When people ask me, how do you do this every day? I really talk about it's a team approach. Like I could not do what I do here without the team at Pat's Place, without my Child Protective Service colleagues, without the detectives that work on the cases, without the DA's office. We all play a role in making sure that children are safe and they're healthy and that we bring healing to them after they've gone through something traumatic. And that's why I do this work. 
through a child advocacy center like Pat's Place, you have children that are able to see that just because they're broken today does not mean they're broken tomorrow. Just because they're bruised today does not mean that they're bruised tomorrow. They literally are given a path to move forward, not just them, but their families as well. There's this vision that I have that I will no longer be needed as a child abuse pediatrician. That is my ultimate hope that we end child abuse and child neglect. But until that time, my hope is that places like Pat's Place continue to do this very important work and that those children know that they can smile, they can know that their bodies are healthy, they can feel happy, they can believe in their dreams, they can go on to do whatever it is that they want to do and not live in the past of their trauma. What are your hopes for your future? I hope to live the best life I can possibly live because I've been at the lowest of the low and you guys have built me back up and I know that I can really get through anything. <laughs>